<laughs> hey, welcome to Farm Talk Friday. It is Friday, yes. September 9th, 2022. I'm Ken Jordan. This is my beautiful and amazing wife, Aww. Giovanna. How are you? You look beautiful. Oh, oh. thanks, baby. <laughs> All right, that. so there's our chicken tractor. Right oh, there. yeah. There right it is. There. Uh, it's in most of the shots. <clears throat> anyway, okay. I have to start off by apologizing. Um, we were going to have um, the most beautiful chicken poll with Conta. photo galleries, yeah. Conta, uh, a contest. And it was going to feature uh, our long standing most beautiful chicken, who is Butterscotch. <laughs> And it was going to feature the newest, who we also love, which is Signora Elegante. Yeah. Who's more beautiful? Yes. And we're super excited. About, I was really excited about <laughs> this competition. And so my beautiful wife, Giovanna, took some pictures. And then she showed me the pictures. And Signora Elegante looked great. And then she showed me some other pictures. And I said... Who is this old, decrepit chicken? <laughs> and she says it's butterscotch. Now, earlier in the week, she had mumbled, she had said something to me that just kind of went uh, in one ear, out the other. She said, like, yeah, I think butterscotch is molting. And I knew molting was something chickens do temporarily. It's not a big deal. But honey, explain to me what molting is. Molting means that they're losing their feathers. Yes. And, um, and they don't look so hot. No, she looks horrible. And so I knew this and I said something to Ken. And I said, I thought he was going to understand because Elaine had gone through a molting stage. Yeah. And as awkward as she was, she looked even weirder when she was molting. <laughs> And so I said, hey, you know, I think butterscotch is molting. I'm not sure it's really going to be fair. And Ken's like, what? This is great. I love my idea. I said, all right. So anyway, the contest is uh, postponed. Yes, until butterscotch is back with all her feathers. And looking beautiful as ever. She's still beautiful. She's still beautiful. Um, okay. In other farm news... <laughs> Uh, the chickens are all fine, by the way. Which, so far. Which these days is a rarity to say that they're all okay, but they're all healthy and laying eggs, and they're fantastic. We have the three um, the three veterans in the now, big, in the now veterans in the big chicken tractor, and then we have the two newbies in the little igloo. Uh, so that's great. Everything is wonderful with the chickens now. We in the past, we don't have one right here, but we've shown you these little peanut butter fruits. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Yeah, peanut butter fruits. We don't they're know these little the, guys. It's not the Latin name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, we tried them before. We had them when they were still on the tree and there was they were not ripe enough and they had either no taste or they're terrible. No, they had, they had a taste of peanut butter, but they were just hard. Yeah. And not delicious. They were not, yeah. Okay, so they were Giovanna, not right. Giovanna brought in some uh, this week and we forgot about them. And then today I just noticed that they were red. They were like the color of red velvet. And they were kind of soft and slimy, and I'm like, honey, you know, what's going on here? So we tried them, and they were delicious and tasted Very just good. like really good peanut butter. Yeah. They so, tasted, they, were, they had a much stronger peanut butter flavor when they were ripe. Yeah. For sure. I'm not sure I would say it's the color of red velvet. Just, you know. Brighter for Ken. Just humor me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they were brighter for Ken. <laughs> but they were really good. And that gave us hope because I think on that recent Farm Talk Friday, I was like, oh man, like we spend like five years on a tree hoping that it's going to be good. And then it's like, that's what you're giving us? Yeah. This kind Wait. of lackluster fruit. And yeah, early on. Now I'm really excited about peanut butter fruit. Early on, we just planted everything, anything that sounded good or exotic. Sure, yeah, let's plant it. And. Some of it works out, some of it doesn't, but this one's 
now working out. Well, and we still don't even know. Most of our trees are not fruiting yet. Right. So we still have another year or two for probably 60 to 70 percent of our fruit trees but the citrus trees were the first ones that we put in many years ago even like as soon as we bought the land um jeff who we might see tonight who is one of the founders of ranch delicioso which is the eco village community that we're um kind of co-pioneers on uh he he told us, he's like, you should start getting things in the ground now. And so we had no idea what we were doing, but we're like, okay, who do you use? And um, he's like, well, Breck down the road. And um, Breck's like, yeah, maybe put in some citrus trees. So those were the very, very first trees. And, um, and now we have some citrus and it's actually a lot, Yeah. but we're not going to be here for like a week or so. So we didn't want to concecha the tree. We didn't want to harvest it too much because what would we do with it mm -hmm. <laughs> right now? But there's there, we have an abundance of citrus right now, and that's really, really exciting because there was some point when I'm like, man, are you ever going to fruit? <laughs> I know. We're still waiting, for our, still waiting for our water apples. Yeah, but I think that's, that's coming. That's coming within the next year, I think. Yeah, yeah Ken loves water apples. Yeah. What else is happening, Angel? Well, I'm feeling a little low energy, and uh, <laughs> you know, Ken's class, his exercise class, is very hard. Well, yeah, I mean, and you know, it's uh, she did a very difficult, uh, high intensity okay. interval training today already, but then she also puts in hours here on the farm. I do. In the heat. Well, yeah. In the humidity and the heat. Our our farm. Well, we we actually yeah we go to Orchard Care once a week, which is a community endeavor, and it's only supposed to be an hour. But you know, once you get me outside, and it's hard to get me back in, um, even if so. I'm like I'll be outside for like two or three hours. So today I wanted to help with um, getting it looking nice in the background here, and. Um, you know, we have a weed whacker. It, it's like a delicate thing out there. It's like, we want the grass to be a certain height for the chickens, but it can't get too tall because then they just walk through it and they, they can't really yeah. like mow it the way that they would if it was a little bit shorter. Yeah. And um, uh, Jason, who works for us, he, he can't weed whack it if the grass is wet and it's rainy season and... So it was just like a big thing and he was doing other things. And so I, I took some scissors and after Ken's class, I was out there cutting grass just so that it was gonna look a little bit nicer, but it does look like he ended up doing a little bit of work out there. But uh, yeah, I work, I work hard a couple hours every day, I would say I would say. Yes, until she's red in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, sometimes I'm working hard like that, and then sometimes I'm just walking around and observing because a lot of permaculture is about observing, like, mm -hmm. you know, checking out, like, what do you need? What? <laughs> Trying to build a relationship mm -hmm. with our plants. So I think that's about all I got today. Unless all right. we want to talk about the other reason why we might be tired, but. Uh, no. No. So <laughs> yeah. we, it's, short, it's short and sweet this week. <laughs> People like to party. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We'll be, we don't know when we'll be back. We might do a remote Farm Talk Friday, but we'll let you know. We're going to do remote. Okay, we'll be back. Oh, oh, I see what's happening here. So Ken was really excited because he was going to do this contest thing. We were going to announce it today. Yeah. And then from Vegas, he, we were going to like do the contest, like, yeah. like announce who won. And now that's out the window because butterscotch is molting. So yeah. yeah. Anyway. And who was going to, what, what was the winning of, do you know? Well, the winner <laughs> would just be like extra words and, or <laughs> yeah. they wouldn't know they won. They're they just, wouldn't know, we'll yeah. treat them both the same. There but, we go. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, well, hoping everyone has a wonderful weekend. Sending you all lots of love. Yay. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week on Farm Talk Friday.